Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the session. Uh, in this session, I'll be uh, discussing about how to record inventory adjustment. Okay, you have seen in the uh, trial balance the opening uh, stocks as well as closing stocks. So I'm going to discuss how to record these particular uh, inventory adjustments in the financial statements. Okay, so let's uh, look at this example. Uh, let's take an example. Uh, let's say on first. Uh, okay, let's say on first January. 2023 okay uh, purchased purchased 1000 units at the rate of 10 dollars okay so this is a purchase quantity so when you purchased let's say this is on credit on credit okay so when you purchase what is the double entry the double entry will be your purchases account debit this is purchases account and your creditors account will be credited this is creditors okay so the total amount is how much 1000 times 10 will be 10000 okay so 10000 will be debited here and 10000 will be credited to the creditors account okay this is first january first january okay now when you take these stocks where are the stocks will be kept so this will be in the stores so this is in the stores okay stores there is uh, inventories 1000 units okay at the rate of 10 now let's assume of which uh, 1000 units a company has sold on let's say 5th January 23 okay sold 500 units at the rate of 15 15 dollars okay so this is also on credit so when you sell 500 units the double entry is going to be your debtors will be debited your debtors will be debited and your revenue or sales will be credited by how much so 500 units times 15 units will be 7500 okay so your debtors will be debited 7500 and revenue will be credited 7500 on 5th january okay so when you sell 500 units the storekeeper will release he will issue 500 units so what is the remaining stocks remaining stocks will be 500 and that is at 10 okay so when you prepare the financial statements what's going to happen okay i'll show you the financial statements i'll show uh, in both ways vertical as well as horizontal this is the vertical so i'll just prepare a trading account this is a trading account. Trading account. Okay. So in the trading account, first of all, this 7,500 will be transferred to the trading account. Okay. So our revenue, 7,500 debit. This is a trading account. So our trading account will be credited with 7,500. Trading account will be credited with revenue. 7500 then the purchases will be transferred to the trading account 10000 okay so here purchases 10000 okay so this is transferred this is also transferred there's no balance then uh, there is closing stock this is closing stock This closing stock has to be transferred to the trading account. Okay. So what is the double entry for that? The closing stocks. We have to pass a double entry. We need to debit the stock account and we need to credit the trading account. Okay. So stock account 500 units at the rate of 10. So which is 5000. Okay. So 5000 US dollars will be debited to the stock account. Okay. And will be credited to the 
trading account okay so this is trading account so when you balance this what is the total 12500 and 10000 sorry Twelve thousand five hundred, and the profit is going to be how much? Gross profit is going to be two thousand five hundred. Okay, so this is a trading account based on this. Are, this is a trading account based on uh, the horizontal presentation. So if you prepare a vertical presentation, it will be like you will take. If you take the vertical presentation of this, okay, so simply what you will do, you will take sales 7500. From this, cost of sales minus cost of sales, cost of sales, okay, there you can take the opening stock. So there is no opening stock. There's no opening stock. Then you have to take purchases. Purchases 10,000. Then you need to deduct the closing stock, which is 5,000. So cost of sales will be 5,000. So your gross profit will be 2,500. Same answer but different presentation. Okay, so basically what I'm trying to explain here is the double entry for the closing stocks. Okay, so when you take uh, the closing stock, so we didn't have any opening stocks. There were no opening stocks. This is the purchases made during the period. So this is a closing stock. Out of one thousand five hundred was sold, and five hundred is remaining in the stores. So when you calculate the uh, gross profit, this closing stock has to be considered uh, as your uh, what you call the remaining stock. So that has to be adjusted in the trading account. So when you calculate this total, uh, 5,000 units, uh, you need to pass a journal entry by debiting stock account and you need to credit the trading account. This is the double entry for the stocks. And this will be carried forward, the balance will be carried forward to the balance sheet, 5,000. Okay, and what are the other balances will be carried forward? I'll, I'll just show you the extra, the creditors balance. Okay, so balance carried forward, uh, 10,000. These are extract from the, uh, the trial balance uh, from the ledger balance and this balance also will be carried forward 7500 to the balance sheet so i'll just show you the uh, i'll just show you a simple balance sheet uh, extraction so this is the balance sheet balance sheet okay so in the balance sheet i'll show these balances will be reflected in the current assets. Current assets. Okay. So you will have debtors and stocks. Okay. <clears throat> First of all, we take stocks 5000 and debtors, debtors 7500. So total current assets 12500 and current. Liabilities under current liabilities, we have a creditors balance of uh, ten thousand. So this has to be recorded here. So creditors ten thousand. Okay. So this is the balance sheet extract. Now. The closing stock has been recorded by debiting uh, stock account and crediting the trading account. So now let's move on to, let's assume this, all these transactions happen during the month of January. This is the entire January month. Okay, now we move on to February. So these are February uh, transactions. Let's assume for the month of February. And on 1st January 
फर्स्ट फेब्रुवरी So let's assume first February twenty three purchases. Let's assume two thousand units bought at the rate of same price ten on credit. So what is the double entry again? February month the purchases account will be debited. Okay, how much? Uh, twenty thousand. So twenty thousand will be debited and. Creditors account. So creditors account. When you take creditors account, there's an opening balance. First February, how much? Ten thousand. Okay. So you take ten thousand. This is February opening balance. And during the month of February, purchases. This is a new purchase. Twenty thousand. Okay. Now, when you go to the stores, the storekeeper will have opening stock quantity of how much? He has this five thousand. Okay, which is he had five hundred units. This is units at the rate of ten. So that will be five thousand. Then let's assume uh, towards the end of the month, twenty eighth February, sold one thousand units at the rate of the same price, fifteen. Okay. So what is the double entry for that? So double entry will be debtors will be debtors will be debited. How much? Fifteen thousand. So fifteen thousand will be debited. Before that, you need to take the opening balance of letters. How much? Seven thousand five hundred. Okay. So there was a balance, opening balance, seven thousand five hundred. That has to be recorded. First February, opening balance, seven thousand five hundred. The new sale sales, fifteen thousand. So sales account will be credited. Debtors, fifteen thousand. Now, when you take the trading account, okay, the trading account. So let's say trading account. This is a trading account. To calculate, uh, what do you call the gross profit? This is a vertical. So you need to transfer the sales, fifteen thousand, to the trading account. So trading account will be credited sales, fifteen thousand. Then you have to take the opening. Uh, what do you call the purchases? Before that, if there are any opening stocks, that has to be recorded. How much is five thousand? <coughs> opening stock is five thousand. Then purchases, new purchases. How much? Twenty thousand. This is transferred to the trading account. Twenty thousand. So you can close this. The trading account will be debited. So credit here, debit trading account. Then, in the stores, we had opening stock of five five hundred units, and recently bought quantities of two thousand. Okay, so two thousand. The total will be uh, two thousand five hundred, and sold how many units? One thousand units. So when you minus one thousand, closing inventory will be one thousand five hundred. The price is still ten. Okay. So therefore, the closing stock balance will be fifteen thousand. Okay. So now, when you take the stock account, this is very very important. When you take the stock account now, stock account. In the current assets, if you see the opening balance sheet. Uh, there is a stock balance of five thousand. Okay, so this has to be. Uh, this will be brought forward balance uh, five thousand. Okay, then what we did? We transfer this opening stock to the trading account. What is the double entry? So opening stock. The stock account will be credited five thousand, and debit the trading account. Okay, so here credit, the stock account will be credited. Here the trading account will be debited five thousand. Now the remaining stock is how much? Fifteen thousand now. The fifteen thousand will be the closing stock. So therefore, again we have to pass an entry: stock account debit, and trading account will be credited. This is for the closing stock. Okay. Now when you balance this, you can find out the profit. This is thirty thousand. This is thirty thousand, 
and 25,000, the profit is 5,000 plus profit. Okay. So what is the remaining balance in the stock account, which is uh, 15,000. Okay. So this is balance carried forward. This will be reflected in the balance sheet of the, the closing balance sheet of the uh, closing balance of February. Okay. This 15,000 will be reflected. And again, the data balance will be how much? 22,500 will be reflected in the balance sheet and also creditors balance 30,000 also will be reflected in the balance sheet. So these are trading account. If you prepare the vertical format, vertical format will be like this. So the sales amount is 15,000 less cost of sales opening stock will be 5000 then the purchases how much 20000 and the closing stock will be how much uh, 15000 so 20 plus 5 25000 minus 15 10000 then the gross profit will be 5000 so these are these are gross profit okay so basically uh, if you take this 2500 uh, units at the rate of 10, uh, we had 25,000 sold 1000 units, which is 10, 10,000. Okay, our cost of sales is 10,000, which is exactly equal to this balance. Okay, cost of sales. So, this is what we sold. Okay, the sold quantity is 1000, which is at 10 dollars. So, cost of sales should be 10,000. Okay. So this is how you uh, calculate, this is how you adjust the uh, stocks. When you have opening stock, the opening stock, uh, opening stock double entry will be uh, stock account credit. So when you are opening stock balance, what is the double entry? So we credit the stock account and we debit the trading account. When you have closing stock, the closing stock entry will be stock account debit, then trading account credit. So whatever the remaining balance, which is the closing stock will be uh, shown in the balance sheet. So this is shown in the balance sheet. Again, this uh, closing stock will be the opening stock for the next financial period. Okay, financial period. Again, this opening stock will be transferred to the trading account as opening stock. And whatever the remaining closing stock will be uh, taken, a fresh uh, entry will be passed to record that closing stock. Okay, so this is what I just want to explain through this video. I hope it's very clear now. I hope you'll have a better understanding about uh, uh, treatment of uh, stocks when it comes to opening stocks and the closing stocks, how the double entry works. Uh, if you have any uh, doubts or any questions, please uh, comment below. I'll see you soon with another video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.